you're supposed to answer without... I was gonna say you're supposed to answer without answering, but that doesn't make any sense, Jan. Nice try. By Alexandra Torres. Alex, AJ, what is her name? A. R. Tor. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with the Rapid Fire book tag. It was originally created by Kate over at Girl Reading, and I was tagged by Molly. Basically, there are a bunch of questions, and you're supposed to answer them without really thinking about them, so they're rapid fire questions. So I have them on my phone, and without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> ebook or physical book? Physical book, I don't really like ebooks, they drive me insane. I would much rather have a physical copy that you can actually hold in your hands and turn the pages and all that jazz. I don't like using my phone, and also it drains my battery. And then I get upset because if my phone is less than 50 percent, I freak out. I know I'm weird. Paperback or hardback? I like hardbacks better because I don't have to like actually hold them open. I can just like lie them on the bed or the chair or my lap. And I don't have to like sit there and be like, mm, I'm reading a book. It's much easier. Unless it's a floppy paperback, I love floppy paperbacks. Online or in-store book shopping? It depends where I am. I don't really buy books in store. Like a chapters or like, I guess in the States would be Barnes and Nobles. I don't really do that. I usually will order off of like book outlet and then go pick it up in store. So I don't know if that counts. And also I buy all my books from the thrift store so I guess in store would be the answer. I don't know. Trilogies or series? I think I'm gonna say I prefer trilogies because after a while I just get sick of the story and it just seems to like drag on and I'm like Why did you write a 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th book if it didn't need it? So, I think it depends on what series it is. That's what I'm going with. That's my answer. Heroes or villains? I think I usually like villains better, just because I, I don't know, I th think that villains are way cooler and I just like bad-ass people, so I would say villains. The book you want everyone to read, Daddy by PJ Ferguson or The Magician by D.A. Poopa. I love those books, you should all read them. Recommend an underrated book. I'm going to say The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. I feel like a lot of people have heard of this book, but nobody's actually read it. I know a couple of people have, and it's I don't think it's that popular, and I think that you should read it because I really enjoyed it. And I have a review of it if you want to check it out. Oh, look at that shameless promotion! The last book you finished was The Crown by Kira Cass. It's the fifth book in the selection series. Again, back to my series trilogies question. I don't know why a fourth and fifth book were written. I mean, like, I liked them both. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, but, like, it wasn't really that needed. But, I mean, it was a cute book anyway. The last book you bought. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. The last book I bought was probably... Oh, no, it was Winter. Winter by Marissa Meyer. That's my answer. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark. I just use, like, whatever bookmarks I have in my little cup over there, so, like, it's not really that weird. I use, like, receipts. Also not really that weird. I don't think I use anything weird. Use books, yes or no? Yes, it's basically all I buy from the thrift store is books. Because your girl is cheap, as I say in every single video. Okay. Top three favorite genres. YA, new adult, thriller. Are those genres? They are now. Those are my answers. Borrow or buy? I would rather buy a book. Characters or plot? Oh no, plot? I think... Yeah, I would say plot. I don't know if... Uh... Long or short book? Short books! <laughs> As we all know, I hate long books. That's why it took me so long to start the Mortal Instruments series, because they terrify me. They're like 500 pages, and I just, no thank you, no thank you. Long or short chapters? Short chapters. Long chapters, I get bored and distracted easily. So, short is way better for me. Name the first three books you think of. Crest by Marissa Meyer. The, the Duff by Cody Keplinger. And, 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 oh god, oh god, don't look at your bookshelf, Jan. Oh, uh, City of Bones by... Cassandra Clare. Good job, Jan. You didn't panic that much. Books that make you laugh or cry. Slammed by Colleen Hoover made me cry. Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins made me laugh. Our world or fictional worlds? Fictional worlds are way better. Audiobooks, yes or no? 100% yes. I am obsessed with them. I love audiobooks so, so much. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Obviously, who does not judge a book by its cover? If it's an ugly cover. I'm not gonna read the book. I'm sorry, not sorry. It's just not gonna happen. A Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Book to movie. I don't want TV adaptations because then I have to wait a week until the next episode comes out and I am not about that life. I'm a very impatient person. Movie or TV show you preferred to its book? Ooh. 
I don't know. I don't think I've read any. I don't know. I honestly have no idea what I can answer for this. The Hunger Games? No, I like the books better. Divergent sucked. I don't, I don't have an answer for this. I honestly have no idea. Series or standalones? Standalones usually, unless I really like the standalone and then sometimes I'm like, mm. I want a series out of this, but like most of the time standalones are like better because I don't like having to wait for the next book. Alright guys, so that was the rapid fire book tag. I tag everybody, you, madam or sir watching, you are tagged. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah. Isabel, Kira Cass, look at me knowing my authors.